Today, Erin Gary's eighth grade English class is having a debate. 30 seconds. And round one is about to begin. You guys can start. Freedom of speech should mean what it's saying, freedom of speech. There shouldn't be limitations on freedom. I disagree. Students in the center of the room argue their case. But you have no proof. 30 seconds. So you Team members on the sidelines right? offer support. They were passing notes saying, you should ask this follow-up question or look at this page in your text so that you can reference this piece of evidence to support your ideas. They have power, but we also have power. And to prepare for the debate, the eighth graders have read several articles about freedom of speech. You can't just say what you're saying because you feel like that's right. You need to like have evidence about it. You said that the government that we have more power than the government. Teacher Aaron Gary keeps score. Kids collect points for using certain discussion skills according to the Common Core standards. You're getting kids to defend their ideas, to speak persuasively, to analyze the presentations that their peers are making, using evidence from nonfiction texts. Is that what the Common Core holds in the future? That kind of teaching? Yes. Critical thinking is the, at the heart of this. 